base stone. Fucking awesome base stone. If you are the kind of musician who brings your girlfriend to band practice, if your girlfriend also happens to be your sister or your cousin, if you your parts are generally recorded by the guitarist of the band, then this video is not for you because then you are the bassist. This video is designed for those um, sitting at home, recording at home, um, needing to put their bass parts into a song and want to make it sound pretty cool. Most bassists don't give a shit. They just turn up, smoke weed and go home um, and never learn their parts. In my experience. Anyway, just kidding. Anyway, how do we get a really nice bass tone? Uh, <laughs> um, just using Amplitude 5 in this case. Uh, I moved over to 5 now, I'm pretty much only using it. So we're gonna go for that. So I'm gonna use the song, I well, the track I used for the previous video. Um, and I wanna show you some things how I got the bass tone because I'm actually really happy with the bass tone. The bass was recorded straight into the interface. Um, and it was just a typical kind of Fender P bass copy. So nothing special. Um, and I will show you what it sounds like box standard. So let's mute this guy. Let's solo this. Let's get all these. Oops, oops, oops. All right. Solo that. Switch these guys off. So this is two tracks of exactly the same bass line. So this is basically the the recorded bass line just doubled up. It's not um, double tracked. Um, and this is what the bass sounds by itself. Shitty bass, not the most amazing sounding bass. Strings are old, all the things you can think of. So there's a couple of things I did do to the bass. Firstly, I did set it up properly. Um, and then I lowered the action to such an extent that there's a, a slight rattle on the frets, um, just a, a tiny one if you pick hard. So I play with a pick because I'm not a bassist and I don't know what I'm doing on bass. So anyway, the point is, um, there are a lot of things that you can do to your bass to give it a little bit more. So we're looking here for a nice growl, a nice deep uh, sound, a nice full sound. We're not looking for like a clean open bass for jazz or something like that. We're looking for something that we can put underneath uh, into a mix um, for metal, for most genres which are heavy, um, which will fit well, uh, which you can hear in the mix. Um, which has a really dirty, growly bottom end without getting all fuzzy and mushy. Um, a bit of a jangle in the 3 or 4K, uh, just for a little bit of clarity here and there. And that, so that's what we're going for. So this is, once again, the bass uh, as it's recorded. There's no compression, no nothing at this point. So. I use Amplitude in two, sometimes I use Amplitude and sometimes I use the Tech 21 a bass driver and parallel them. In this case, I'm only using Amplitude 5. Um, one of, some of my ba favorite bass tones at the moment is really um, from Tool and kind of always has been um, because it's really present, it's really dirty, but it is not fuzzy at the top and I hate putting fuzz I hate that sound of a bass that is distorted or fuzzed and it's just the top that gets fuzzy and I've never understood how that is a pleasing tone, even in the mix. Um, I don't, also don't think that it really supports um, the bottom end of the guitar rhythm tracks. So I prefer this tone. So what we're going to do first is one of the best bass amps, in my opinion, is the Marshall 800. So I'll show you the settings. That's if it ever comes up. So we've got the Marshall running here. Um, and it's kind of cleanish. Uh, got the 
Brett 800 cab as well, so basically the, the standard 800, uh, Marshall 800 cab. And this is what it sounds like. So, you could realistically play around with these settings and actually get a bass tone off that already. So, you can see how I'm driving the bass and the treble a bit and the master, um, not too much on the preamp. Um, and then we've got the middle kind of scooped it out already. So the preamp was just pushed to such a point where it just kind of breaks up a bit. The other amp, so let's switch this one off, is... a bass amp and a bass speaker. Now you can see that I pushed the game up, uh, not too much compression. Um, I switched on the ultra highs that gives you that bit of a jangle at the top, bass up, mid-range down, treble up, um, and then pushing it a little bit. The speaker is again, this is the bass vintage, I think this is, um, I'm not so sure what this is supposed to mimic. It's probably an Ampeg or something. So we get a half decent tone from this. But as you can see here, we've given it a bit of drive with the diode overdrive. As you can see, the tone is quite low. And we're also using the, using the tube compressor. It's compressing quite heavily. Okay, so when you combine the two, you get this. And then we root the two of them together into um, a track. So basically, we can uh, now sculpt the last two. So the first thing I add is the Freak EQ from uh, Audio Assault, which I really think works very well. Now, the Freak EQ has got some presets, uh, electric bass, deep bass, guitar, vocals, all these kind of things. And they kind of really get you into the ballpark figure. Um, I didn't do many changes except scoop a little bit more of the mids out here. And uh, as you can see here, the 7K was boosted a little bit. So the end bit. Then I put another comp on there. What I like to do is like anything <clears throat> that colors the sound, any compressors or EQs that color the sound, I put in first and make the main kind of sweeps. And then the final fine kind of um, EQ tweaks I do with the clean EQ, for example, using Reaper, uh, using the um, rear EQ, for example. And so then we do the final kind of tweaking. As you can see here, I uh, dropped out the 50 hertz because that's where my kick drum lives. And then scooped out a little bit more of the 10K and a little bit around it. It's fairly, well, slightly wide EQ. And then kept the uppers, the, the, um, the highs a little bit, um, well, as is really. So then you can hear it in the whole mix. So 
So, and then I'll put on the bus um, compressors and So let's recap. I mix uh, a JCM 800 and its own speaker with a little bit of dirt with a slightly driven, uh, slightly driven um, bass rig that is then all compressed to suit um, and and control the bottom end. Um, that is then subbed into a bass uh, uh, submix, which is then treated overall with EQ and compression. And that is all done to taste. And I feel like this is at home uh, digitally. I think this is a pretty damn good bass tone because I find getting a good bass tone uh, with amsoms and stuff like that is just not the same as miking up a bass cap. There is something about the bottom end growl that you kind of is hard to get. So anyway, if you like this, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please share. Please buy coffees and all that sort of shit and support the channel. Thank you very much.